State. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, mid-afternoon update. Uh, we got stocks are bifurcated as again. We've got the Dow Jones up a little bit. We got the NASDAQ up a little bit. And we got the S&P up a little bit. The Ru Well, actually, Russell's up a little bit, so everything's up there. We've got one market that is really trying to uh, save its own life. It's on the precipice of a giant cliff. That's our Treasury bonds. They got down to 118.04 today, folks. I'm going to be talking about that coming up to the break. Um, our guest today will be Mike Moore. He'll be talking to us about the market for uh, crude oil and also the heating oil and gasoline, and also the gasoline or the uh, energy stocks. There's a big, uh, big uh, change going on there with the stocks dropping and the crude oil going higher. But we'll be talking about that with Mike. Uh, tomorrow, folks, uh, my good friend from many, many years ago, from over 60 years, is uh, Peter Lides, and he will be our guest. And uh, he'll be fun to talk to tomorrow. So Peter Lides will be on. I'm trying to get him on early, depending on how much his time schedule will allow and what he'd like to share with us. But we'll have that going on. And hopefully we'll have Jeff Huge on later in the week. And with a little luck, I think Stan Harley might be ready to go. But we'll have to uh, have to wait and see uh, on that one because Stan has moved to Virginia. He's still working for the same firm, but has moved for Virginia. He liked that area much, uh, much nicer. So that's where... Uh, he has moved. Uh, the chart that I posted here today shows the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, I want you to notice here that uh, so far the high today has been an exact 382 retracement. That was with the Dow up 100 points. And uh, early this morning, they said there was no chance that Dow Jones was going to rally 100 points, and yet it rallied 140 points right off the bottom. It made a slightly lower low then Friday, and it just took off. And people have asked me the question, how can this be? Well, I'm going to cover that in the first segment that we come up to after this break, because uh, there's a lot of things happening that make these markets do this. So I think it'll be helpful to listen to what I have to say, because it's not just me. There's a lot of people that know what's going on there. And that's why we're watching it so uh, very, very closely here at uh, TFNN. So let's uh, remember, folks. We'll be right back right after the break. So stay tuned. 